Zuckerberg just plain out revealed that Facebook censored the Hunter Biden laptop story specifically because of someone who's been in the news quite a bit lately, the FBI. Watch this. How do you guys handle things when they're a, a big news item that's controversial? Like there was a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story, the New yeah, York we Post. Yeah, we had that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically the background here is the FBI, I think basically came to us, uh, some, some folks on our team, and was like, hey, um, just so you know, like you should be on high alert. There was, the, we, we thought- Doesn't there was even a realize what he just said. Yeah. In the 2016 election, we have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of, of um, uh, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. So they fact check so for the FBI. Who fact checks the FBI? Twitters. What yeah. Twitter did is they said, you can't share this at all. Um, we didn't do that. What, what we do I is I think we have, that's um, yeah. if something yeah. is reported to us as potentially um, misinformation, important misinformation, we, we also have this third party fact checking program because we don't want to be deciding <laughs> what's true and false. And for the, I think it was five or seven days when it was basically being um, being determined whether it was false, um, the distribution on Facebook was decreased, but people were still allowed to share it. So you could still share it, you could still consume it. So when um, you say the distribution is decreased, in, it, it got shared. It, how does that work? It basically the ranking in newsfeed was a little bit less. Oh, a little bit. So fewer people saw it than would have otherwise. So it definitely. By what percentage? I, I don't know off the top of my head. But yes, it's, you do. It's, it's meaningful. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm not in the business of attributing motive yeah. or saying that someone is. Yes, you do. You do know off the top of your head. And by the, this is the problem is, well, we have third-party fact-checking. Hold on a second. The FBI is one of the fact. You just said the FBI is a fact-checker because they told you it was misinformation. You use the word of the FBI. Who fact-checks the FBI? This is the problem with the raid going on right now. Who holds the people accountable whose job it is to hold everyone else accountable when they have now gone rogue? You have to believe one of two things here. Either the FBI is so absolutely inept that they couldn't be bothered to, ring, ring, Giuliani, where'd you get that laptop? Oh, do you have the receipt from Geek Squad? You do. Let's go check it out. You have to believe that they are so inept they aren't able to do what we did on this show. Keep in mind, the laptop was shown on this show for the first time to the public when Giuliani was on this show, the Hunter Biden laptop. We confirmed it. They're either so inept or they're lying and tried to affect the outcome of the election. There is no door number three. And we have a third party fact checkers. OK, so the yeah. FBI is one of them. Who else? Southern Poverty Law Center. Yeah. Exactly. The CDC, the WHO with YouTube. Who fact checks the fact checkers, especially now? When the CDC said, sorry, we were wrong about a lot, uh, according to the polls, 17 percent of Biden voters said they would have changed their vote or not voted had they known about the Hunter Biden laptop story. Wow. And Dave made a great point. It's not just about the fact that he was smoking crack and sexting his niece. It's about the fact that he was directly involving his dad in foreign business deals uh, with governments who do not have Americans best interest at heart. That does matter. I don't care what Sam Harris says. He's stupid. So take this into yes. account, 17%, 17% would have changed their vote, Biden voters, okay? Let's change that electoral map. Donald Trump would have won Arizona by 273,000 votes. Georgia, 408,000 votes. Nevada, 85,000 votes. Michigan, over 300,000 votes. New Hampshire, 12,000. That's a low number because it's a small state no one cares about. Pennsylvania, 507,000 votes. Wisconsin, Donald Trump would have won. Minnesota, Donald Trump would have won. If you, if you cut the number in half by the people who answered the poll saying they would have changed their vote, yeah. it still would have been a Ronald Reagan-like landslide through the Electoral College. Just that one story. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.